two, three, four. What are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm feng shui in the office. It's like hard corners. You ever notice there's like no flow in here whatsoever? There's hard corners because there's desks and I mean, open a window for stuffy. What did you call it by the way? It's um, feng shui. Feng shui? Yeah, it's French, back house, you wouldn't understand. You'll see. What was I, six? I don't know, whatever. Six, seven, eight. It's about eight and a half right here. Method. Method. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Boise with Real G and we're in the Green Chef's Kitchen today with Khadija Dadaboy. We're excited to have you here today. We're excited you're with us. What are we gonna be making? We're making upside down caramelized banana chocolate cake. I'm all about it and you should be too. We'll show you how to make that and we come back with Green Chefs. Stick around. So uh, let's just go over the ingredients of what we're gonna be using today. Okay. Right? Of course we have bananas. We've got brown sugar, earth balance. Mm -hmm canola oil, soy milk, vanilla, cocoa powder, some espresso, whole wheat pastry flour, sugar, baking soda and baking powder, and some blended tofu. Now why blended tofu? We want to add some air in there to create a light dessert. <laughs> all right, good. And we got our bananas and, and we got all our stuff to caramelize it. The first step in doing this is obviously we have our baking dish. Right. This is a 10 inch pan. And this pan actually has a bottom that oh. comes out. And then we've got some wax paper. You can use parchment or wax paper that we just cut in a circle. And so what we're going to do is we're going to um, oil the pan, brush your pan, and then I'm going to put my wax paper on here to stick. And then I'm actually going to brush it again. And this and will kind of help the cake not to stick. Yeah, all this yeah. post haste allows to really pop it out. Here, most people flour their pans. Okay. Instead of using flour, we're just going to use a little cocoa powder. That's a good idea. To make it Add taste a little a extra little flavor. Yeah. Exactly. Good. Cool. And we're just going to put it. I just like to put it on the side right there. Oh. Okay. And there we go. Oh, well, that's good. Now we're going to start by doing the caramel on the bottom. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is oh, put the brown sugar and the earth balance into your pot there, all and right, just good. kind of. Melt them together and you can use this. How low do I want my heat? Relatively yeah, low here? you want it kind of low. You don't want it too high. You want to melt it slowly together. And while you're doing that, I'm going to get started with cutting some bananas. So what I'm doing is just running the knife along the middle of the banana. And you just want to be careful because sometimes it can break. Can I just put all this in there? Uh-huh, just put it all in there. And the whole idea to caramelize the brown sugar is to eliminate all the graininess, right? You exactly. really want to make you want a to syrup. melt it, right. And I don't, I don't want this to come to a boil. I don't want to see any bubbles. So no, not really. You just, you're, you're, you're just almost there. You know, you just want to get all those lumps out and just okay. kind of get it all mixed together. So we're going to pour that in there. I'm going to have you pour it in and just kind of spread it around in there. Spread it out. This will become the top of the cake. I may need to cut a little bit of the banana to make it fit. So you're just going to kind of place them. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So we've got our bananas in there. Very good. Know. Okay. So what are we going to do next? We're going to get started on mixing our batter together. Okay, great. So we'll do that in a moment. So these are all of our ingredients for the batter? Yes. Okay. We have our dry ingredients here. Right. We've got our cocoa powder, whole wheat pastry flour, our sugar, the baking soda baking powder, and our sea salt. Dump all those in here and sift them together. So I'll start with the wheat because it's the biggest thing. I'm going to start getting our wet ingredients into our mixing bowl here. I'm going to start with our tofu and then soy milk, canola oil, coffee, and our vanilla. Sifting is really to aerate your ingredients, your dry ingredients, yeah. and to, to mix them together. Just get everything mixed in there and just kind of aerate your your dry ingredients. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and mix Great. our um, wet ingredients. So I'm just starting on a low speed, and then I'm gonna take it up a little bit. And what I'm just looking for is to get everything uh, mixed well together. And one thing that I'm gonna do is stop it, which you always do need to do when you're mixing your cake batters and things, and scrape down your bowl so that everything is getting incorporated well. So now you can see that we're pretty. Looks good. It kind of looks like uh, 
like a latte in Yeah, there. it does, doesn't it? Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to add our dry ingredients okay. to the mix there. And I can just kind of yeah, dump it all in? Yeah, you can just go ahead and dump it in there. All right, good. That's what's great about this recipe is it's really easy. So now I don't want to over mix my batter because I don't want to develop the gluten in the flour too much because the cake, you want it to stay moist and tender. And if you over mix it, then it becomes kind of tough. Okay, well, baby. So we're gonna dump this now? We're just gonna dump it right on top. Great. Is there a certain level of the this batter about, that you wanna make sure you don't go up to? You just kinda wanna be about, usually about two thirds to three quarters of the way okay. up. All right, so we've poured our batter and we're looking like we're starting to get some bubble action already. How do we get rid of that? We're just gonna tap our pan. All right. As you tap it, the bubbles pop. And that's good to do before we put it in the oven. Yeah, because you're settling the batter so there's not those extra air pockets in there. Good. Okay. So we're going to be putting it in the oven now. How long are we going to do that for? We're going to do it for 55 minutes and check it after about 40 or 45. All right, good. All baking is best done in the middle shelf of the oven. All right, good. So second rack, middle shelf. And when we come back uh, after it's cooled, we're going to dress it and plate it. Right. All right, good. So stick around. We'll be back in a moment. All right, so our cake has been taken out of the oven, and how long have we let it cool? For about 10 minutes. And we're gonna flip it now? We are. And then let it cool for how long? For another about 10 or 15 right. minutes. So before we do that, what do we wanna do? We're gonna uh, run a knife around the side of the pan. So we're just gonna put the plate on top for the flip? That's right. right. Three, two, one. There we go. Okay. Let's lift this off. Yeah, we can lift that off. Looking so we're far so good. That. All right, excellent. Look at that. Wow, you were right. And we're just gonna take our wax paper, pull it off of there. Can't wait, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Boink. It's like my daughter, she likes to do that. <laughs> wow, this has been awesome. Keisha, thanks again. Thank you. Awesome. For everyone at Green Chefs and G Living, I'm Boise Keep G, everyone. See you next time. Well, Backhouse, what do you think? Uh, it's more cluttered. Oh, come on, back house. You gotta you got be kidding me. You don't feel the space, the flow? You of all people should be able to recognize and appreciate the space in here. I mean, it's in your blood. What am I? Assembling toy parts over here? I'm not Chinese. I'm Japanese, you idiot. Besides, I don't do superstition. I do style.